front line. All we know are about what has happened in the territories that have been liberated. And if you think of things like Bucha and Izium, uh, German radio intercepts told us as far back as May that there were at least 70 places behind Russian lines that had suffered massacres like Izium, I'm sorry, like, um, like Bucha. And when we've had additional liberation since then, it corroborates that general assessment. So, <sighs> well, so that, that's piece one okay. that you can be a little depressed about. The piece two, uh, the Russians see this as an existential fight for their survival. They feel if they don't get those blocking positions, they're doomed and they're probably right. But we now know that the Russians are fighting so badly. They're doing much worse than the Iraqis did in 1992. That if, really? Oh yeah. If we had a direct fight now between NATO and Russia, it would be a thousand one casualties. And I don't know anyone at the defense department who's happy about that. Because if the Russians see this